So hey guys, today we are going to take a look at the Oreo Beta 4 update for our Galaxy S7 and S8 Plus. And in this video, I'm going to review the same also, like what are the UI changes and all the stuff I'm going to tell you guys. So please uh, watch it until the end and also give your feedback down below in the comment section. And yes, this is a TWR with flashable zip, not the official way OTA. All of the people who receive OTA are going to receive and those who don't receive OTA, we need to do it. Uh, by TWRP and yes at the end everyone is going to get the official stable Oreo update so you can wait for it and if you want the beta you can just install it by TWRP so let's start so guys the first change I noticed that uh, about the Oreo beta for update that I was experiencing some lag on my Galaxy S8 launcher I thought that may be my device problem but it was the Oreo beta 3 problem and the lag is fully fixed now there is no lag even when I am like playing something or just surfing the internet or on Facebook so this is the one most uh, like important thing fixed for me that's great and for all other users now another is if you take a look at the app draw you can see the search bar has been now uh, transparent there is no thing in actual design here and you can see if you are uh, like searching uh, anything you get a, a blue background means the background it adapts from the wallpaper so that is also a great thing now, now in the quick settings also there is a change you can see uh, the colors are a bit darker first you need uh, first you are getting it that glowing blue color but now these are quick uh, quite darker and all and you can see when you open the sound and other trays you can see we get the ringtone and other stuff here also so that also there is a change in the settings UI and you can see here the addition information about your Samsung account you can see all of your information is your account invasion password security privacy you can change your password here's my information and relationships places everything uh, is in here so that's great like this is a user info so another change is in the task edge you can see the icons are circle and some are squarical so yeah this is a change in the apps edge and in the task edge. so as many people were talking about the gallery and it's changes it's just the icon which is changed uh, internal the gallery is all the same nothing else uh, changed the uh, ui is all the same also we can see the change in notification dots uh, UI is different and when you long press on it we can see we get no notifications uh, like still there is the notification but we are not gonna see the notification here so we need to open it manually so yeah that thing is removed and the UI is changed already. now to talk about the one more problem I was facing like also many users were facing like if I click the power button uh, it will just vibrate but now it's working fine and I can also put the pattern lock also one of the thing were like it was I restarted the phone and it's necessary to get the uh, pattern lock so I was just uh, opening the device and it's just saying wrong pa password or wrong pin uh, when the pattern and all was correct but it's now fixed in the Oreo beta 4 so I think those who want this minor issues uh, uh, minor issues fixed from the beta 3 to beta 4 they can install it also some UI changes are noticed so you can get a good feel here so yeah not extra good feel you can see the transparent UI and some other changes which are like totally useless uh, here seeing the settings we get this additional info it's not totally like that, that's good it's not a big update so we are waiting for the big update the official let's see what samsung brings and goodbye guys uh, there's nothing more now let's move to the installation so guys to install this you will now boot into uh, recovery mode so first power off your device boot into recovery mode by pressing the volume of the bixby and the power button and make sure you have twrp recovery installed or else no options now it's first required to go through the wipe option or the backup option if you want to backup your rom you can just back up here then go to wipe then advanced swipe then dalvik system data and cage and swipe to wipe. so now you need to go to install and then uh, click internal storage or whatever wherever you have stored in the download and the oreo beta 4 swipe to confirm flash don't reboot wait then swipe the super su if you don't uh, like uh, Flash the super SC, you will end up in boot loop or some other problem. So yeah, just to avoid this, you can just do this and then reboot system and you will be enjoying the Oreo Beta 4. Also back up your Beta 3, uh, which will be in the SD card on internal. So that if you want to like go back to the Beta 3, if you have imported files, you can just go back there by restoring. So guys, that's it for this video. Goodbye. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. So please uh, subscribe and other things you know like dislike everything it's in your hands and feedback will be down in the comment section bye bye